WordPress has two main ways of publishing content, posts and pages. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm just gonna quickly explain to you the difference between posts and pages and how you can use them on your WordPress site. Posts are your main pieces of content on your blog. These are typically displayed in reverse chronological order on the homepage of your site. So that means that the most recent posts are displayed first. You can group posts by things such as category and tags, and visitors will typically visit a blog in order to see the latest posts. Pages, on the other hand, are pieces of static content that typically don't change too much over time. This may include things such as an about page or a contact page. You can have a hierarchy of pages. So for example, the about page might have a page below it with contact details, but you can't put these into categories or tags. If we just click on posts here, this will take us to the screen that will help us manage our posts. And you can see here, these are all of the posts that I have created on my site. I have one draft and one published. If I press add new, this is gonna take me to the screen which will allow me to add a new post. And here you'll be able to see, we can have a title, extra content, the main body of the content here, as well as on some themes, you'll be able to choose a format, a category, tag, and featured image. You can save, preview, and publish. Once you publish a blog post, it's typically going to go straight onto the front page of your website. And if any readers subscribe by services such as RSS, then it will be automatically sent to them as well. Pages, however, if we just click on pages, as I mentioned, are pieces of static content. And you can see here, I've only got one page, but if I click add new, then we're gonna see that I have not got the uh, category or tag options here, but instead I've got some page attributes where I can choose a parent page that will uh, create a hierarchy of pages there. You still have the title and the main body of content, but when you click publish, that's just going to be going onto your site without necessarily putting it onto the homepage and without sending it automatically to new subscribers. So pages are for pieces of static content that you don't want to be sent out to your subscribers. If I just visit the homepage of my site, then we're gonna see here I've got that one post I have published, but you'll note I don't have that page displaying by default. And in order to display that, I might want to put a link in my sidebar or in the menu. So pages are for pieces of static content and posts are for those new pieces of content that you want to be publishing regularly on your blog. That's the difference between the two. I hope that's been helpful and thank you very much for watching. Thank you.